Yo, what's really good, world? This is your boy Marcus Manic, and today I'm going to show you how to record in Tractor Pro. So, first thing we're going to do after we open up our tractor is go to Preferences, and you want to click on Mix Recorder. Now, what we got to do is go down to Directory Option, click that open, and find a place on your computer somewhere, a folder or a location, where you want all of your recordings from Tractor to be placed at, okay? So, you find your location or your folder, click Choose, we're done. You have an option to put a prefix or a title on your mixes. You can type that right here or leave it blank like I do. Now we have this thing called split file at size. Don't know what the heck it's for, but what it does is, for example, if I have it at 700 MBs, while I'm recording, every 700 MBs, Tractor is going to chop my mix. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to keep that by 2048 MB, okay? And we're done over in the mix recorder section. Now we're going to go over to global settings. Make sure you have show global section. Have that on. You have your left side and your right side. They give you an option to have effects on each side. Or on your left side, you can have a master clock. And on your right side, you can have your audio recorder. So today we're going to have the audio recorder on. Close this. And all you got to do to record is hit record. Drop your beat. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. When you're done, hit stop, and you'll find your mix in that folder or that location where you've already chosen in your preferences. Now, for example, the default panels you have set, you can have recorder here, or you can keep it at FX. It doesn't matter. All you got to do is find this little cassette icon right here. It's always in the same place. Click it, and you have your recorder open. Now, what you also can do is you can map this button. So you can map it to your keyboard, or you can map it to a controller of some sort. And all you got to do is hit that, and you're on, off. And you can see right here, you have your little record light. So, for example, if I'm going to do some mixing, and I have my effects panels open, and I want to record, I just hit my button, turn my record on, you see it's on recording, and when I'm done, just hit that same button, and I cut it off. And that's how you record in Tractor Pro, people. Hope this helped you out. I'm Marcus Manic, and remember, it's not my fault. The music made me do it. Holla at your boy. Marcus Mann. Peace.